Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and you have entered the DM Zone, and we are here today at the Rome International Film Festival in Rome, Georgia, and we are about to visit with Rowena Portier-Sutherland. Welcome. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> now, um, I'll just put it aside. If somebody didn't hear the middle name of Portier, your uncle <laughs> is Sidney Poitier. That is correct. He is the living legend, Sidney Poitier, <laughs> who changed the face of cinema. <laughs> but the important thing that I read about you, Rowena, is a mom of two and a wife. You are the youngest cultural dire director of culture in the Bahama government history. That is correct. Uh, it was interesting. I'm, I've been in theater and film and television industry my entire life. I think, you know, it's in our blood. We have to do it. We're all artists. And um, I've traveled the world. And so it was interesting to return to the Bahamas and to be able to support and uplift my culture and connect my culture to the world um, at, at such a young age. And I've actually now retired from government. Well, that's good. The other thing is, is that you are a strong, I would say, fierce advocate of women and children. So talk a little bit about that. Well, uh, it started in, well, in my heart. <laughs> uh, I am a woman and I believe in honoring the divine feminine uh, that exists and nurturing uh, particularly children uh, and to empowering the voiceless. And I find that art is such a powerful medium to do that whether that's through film and television or that's through theater. And so in, in college, um, we started doing reconciliation uh, therapy through art. We call it art therapy. And I later took this to the Bahamas where I started my company called Bahamas Artist Movement. Bam. 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 Bam for short. And what we would do is go into the communities um, and, and assist children who were dealing with trauma, whether that be gang violence, whether that be rape and incest. Um, giving and providing safe spaces for them to voice uh, what they're going through through art and to then heal from that and to empower them. Yeah, according to your, your bio on, on the internet, the, the bottom line is that you've taught and worked with over 240 children just at BAM, but over 500 throughout the rest of the world as far as seminars and workshops. And talk a little bit about that. Uh, well, yes, uh, child sex slavery was one of the topics that we covered, so we did some empowering theater surrounding that. And that's uh, not a topic everyone wants to talk about, but it, it happens. It's very difficult. It's very difficult, but it's very real. Yes. And um, so it's it's less of a tool of just of letting people know what's going on. It's more of a tool for the actual victims who are in these circumstances and may not have a way to get out. Uh, what they do is we provide these spaces and centers that they can go to um, and they have people that they can confide in and then they begin their healing process through discussing and exploring what it is they're going through through art and then understanding that there is a way out or there is assistance there and there's help and so uh, we view, really use that as a tool globally. I was going to say now you are an actor, a director, um, a writer, um, and, and, and in between you're a mom and a <laughs> wife, you're amazing. But the thing that I wanted to know about was what brought you to the Rome International Film Festival? Well, uh, I had not heard of the Rome International Film Festival until Mr. Michael Dunaway, the cre one of the creative directors, um, and he told me about how special this was. We are. <laughs> you are very special. Uh, and I, you know, I told him I would be very interested. I have a, uh, I'm wearing my producer hat more, more these days because I've retired from government and I started a television show. Um, as a producer, I, I'm not the creator, Miss Stephanie Neon. Is that is the Goomba? Goombe Kids. Ah, Goombe Kids, I like that. <laughs> Thank you. It's a cultural island adventure show. And you know, there's not really a lot of that in the market. And we began that in the Bahamas. So it's on national network television. It's online. And you know, we're trying to get distribution to take it to the world. And so I thought, what a great platform to come and network and meet people and just learn about this great film festival. And um, I'm also launching my own film festival for children in the Bahamas called the Poitier Mobile Film Festival. We call it POMO. We like our acronyms. I love all of your acronyms. Are you kidding? I'm DM of Diane Marie. Remember the DM zone? Yeah, yeah. I love that. I love that. Um, and so it's just really been 
a wonderful opportunity to be here and meet what I like to call my tribe because whenever I'm with creative people, I feel at home. I feel like I'm with my people and I'm being fed. And so I'm really grateful to be here. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us. You've been so wonderful. It's great. And you have been in the DM zone. Come back soon.